What? What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching The Road to TF5. This is just Webster's We're Talking About Transformers last night. This is episode number 170, and it's trailer reaction time. This is the fourth trailer that Transformers last night has put out, and they're calling it the International Trailer, because I'm thinking that this is the same trailer that Michael Bay put together for Japanese audiences a couple of weeks ago. But I'm really surprised that we're actually getting a fourth trailer. They've already shown a lot already, and I'm really wondering what we're going to see now. I mean, in the general sense, it could be a combination of things. For example, we could be seeing recycled footage from things we've already seen from the previous three trailers or extended versions of some of that same footage or different angles of some scenes we've already seen. Uh, but of course, there will be brand new footage. And considering this is a fourth trailer, it'll be a combination of the, those things that I mentioned but here's something very interesting that I read here for centuries they defended our world but on June 24th uh, 21st our alliance is over I'm pretty positive that they're referring to the Cybertronian Knights or the Knights of Cybertron because they defended their world but we already know they're going to beat up Optimus Prime so anyways let's uh let, let's do this hey maybe the Knights become the Infernicons <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, here we go. Let's check this out. kidnapping on her first transformer experience no thanks baby a thousand years since we've kept her hidden the secret history of transformer here on earth now to save our people we must unlock the past What the? Filled with IMAX 3D cameras. What? <laughs> Holy! Bumblebee has a new feature. Um, you know what's crazy about this? Um, you know, this was a very fast-paced an action-packed trailer very very action-packed you can tell from the very very beginning with the music and the way the scenes were edited it was just like boom 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 but one thing that I had a feeling about b before I watched the trailer was that I was thinking that they couldn't possibly show another money shot with Optimus Prime for the end of the trailer they got to show us something different because they have been showing money shots with Optimus Prime in all the, <clears throat> excuse me, previous trailers. Um, well, not just Transformers Last Night, but Transformers Dark of the Moon, Transformers Age of Extinction. And I'm thinking, like, they got to show us something different. So let's not put the focus on Optimus Prime. 
they focused on a little bit of everything. And as a matter of fact, there was only one scene with Optimus Prime, and that was him stabbing a Knight of Cybertron as as far as I can remember. I got to watch that again. But the crazy part for the money shot was Bumblebee putting himself together after he was blown to bits. <laughs> uh, maybe he allowed himself to get like that. You know, maybe that's a feature of his to come apart like that. Um, to to um, trick, the, uh, trick his uh, enemies. But he came back together in this crazy scene, which was essentially the money shot for the end of the trailer. That was totally unexpected. But like I said, I had a feeling that they couldn't possibly show us another slow-mo Optimus Prime scene. I mean, we've seen so much of that. Anyways, showed a lot of action. It was a combination of a lot of human scenes and uh, robot scenes. But we saw more scenes of Megatron. We saw the face of Quintessa. We saw Grimlock. Uh, we saw a little bit of Cogman. Um, like I said before, uh, scenes that we've already seen before. Uh, but uh, yeah, a lot of new stuff. Um, anyways, uh, like this was a fast-paced trailer. And I'm glad it was made the way it was. Because it was less story-driven. And I'm glad they had it less story-driven because... Um, I didn't want them to reveal too many things. It was essentially a two, two minute and eighteen second um, sizzle reel because that's all it did. It just showed us a bunch of uh, action packed scenes, and then essentially after I'm done talking about it, and in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna have forgotten about it because it didn't really give me anything impactful in terms of what it has to do with the story. It was just a bunch of random scenes, and which I'm glad they did because. Um, you know, they, they kept it nice and short. They didn't show us like full-blown sequences. They kept it really, really nice and short. And anyways, really, really cool trailer. I'm going to leave you a link on the description box below. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Uh, but we're going to do a trailer analysis in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this trailer. And I'm thinking this could be the last one. I'm thinking like they really don't need to show us anymore. Just give us a couple of 30 second, 15 second TV spots and we're done. Uh, the movie's coming out in five weeks, less than five weeks from now. So we really don't need to see that much more. But anyways, that's all I got to say in this episode. Uh, why don't you guys um, stay tuned <laughs> or rather hit like, hit the like button, subscribe to YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. All grayed out which is something that we've seen before in the 1986 film. Once Optimus Prime died in the 1986 film,